hello friends i welcome you all from agile tf tech channel and today we will uh, talk about the uh, user permissions that are created in sharepoint 2019 website uh, friends whenever you create a new web application and you create a site collection whether it is a team site or a communication site or any other template uh, by default some uh, groups are created let me show you here uh, I have one team site whose uh, URL is HTTP colon HLTF tag website and this is the default template of HLTF tag website uh, that is uh, default template of team site uh, in modern site concept <clears throat> so what is the concept of modern sites uh, I will tell you in my later videos uh, first of all let me tell you about the site permissions so when you create a new website you go into the site information and from here you go into the view all site settings uh, from uh, this site settings you can navigate to site permissions <clears throat> okay uh, guys, I was telling you whenever you create a site collection by default three groups are created this site uh, is Has a title of home uh, Let me show you here in the central administration Here I will go into the application management and here I will go into uh, view all site uh, collections Here you are seeing that this is the website and this is the default uh, site that is the home page of uh, my website and this is the associated uh, database so i have mentioned this url in here and uh, i have gone into the site permission you know by default three groups are created here that is home members home owners home visitors the name home is the uh, uh, title name of my uh, site collection you if you name uh, other if you uh, give another name that will be depicted here <coughs> okay so these two are groups and you can assign uh, various members of your active directory of your uh, users in this group you can make them a part of this group here uh, let me show you about this uh, groups uh, one by one first of all this is home owners group in this home owners group it has been granted a full rights okay it has been granted a full right full right mean that the user who will be the member of this group that is home owners will have full control over the entire site collection right now these two are uh, my uh, admin accounts who have been delegated the rights by default i haven't add them here they have been uh, added when uh, i was creating a site collection the second group that is the home members these members have the permission level of edit it means that if i uh, allow any user to be a part of this group it will uh, have some edit rights okay uh, and the third one is home visitors this uh, group is for all those users who have only the read access or the view access they can't change anything okay so full control we always uh, preferably give uh, this membership uh, to the active directory users who are the administrators of this site collection and uh, if we go into the home members uh, these have some limited permissions than full control uh, in this uh, we can only assign the uh, we can have the rights of editing only and these have very limited rights that is they can only uh, view this website if we go into the permission levels uh, you can see that there are different permission levels if we want to see what are these actual permission 
for example i go into the edit edit was for home members uh, these are all the check uh, checks that are assigned that are the permissions that are assigned for this permission level you can also change them but uh, i recommend you not to change them uh, uh, rather you can add a default permission level from this uh, area okay so you can name it uh, i will name it as a test uh, i will select uh, list permissions list are the applications uh, are the apps of sharepoint 2019 similarly site level permissions are defined here you can uh, give various permissions uh, as per your requirement similarly personal permissions are also uh, defined here so you can create a permission level uh, a custom permission level here and you can um, um, assign the membership of this group to your active directory users similarly if we go into the read permissions you can see that these are the permissions or we can say these are the limited permissions that are assigned to this group that is view items open items view versions create alerts and similarly you can use view pages basically uh, this information uh, this rights are basically to uh, let the user see the information in the site collection not to edit or to add uh, manually uh, other resources of the uh, site collection if we uh, similarly there is a contribute there is a design there is a read permissions so these are the permission levels you can uh, you can uh, add a permission level i have already told you or you can uh, change the permission level here you can uh, add multiple checklist here but it is not recommended to change the default uh, permission levels okay so coming to the point these home members have the edit permission level that we have uh, earlier seen here this one okay so whenever you create a new permission level uh, that would be assigned here then you can change the membership of these groups uh, you can change uh, edit user permissions here uh, a new custom uh, will appear you can click on it you can deselect it you can select another one so these all are the things are related to the permission levels now coming towards the demonstration point of view this is a site collection and uh, what i am going to do i have two users in my active directory let me show you here this is my active directory and this active directory i have an uh, organizational unit that uh, of, of the name hltf tech company users here i have two members or we can say i have two users for the user that is hr manager i will assign him the role of edit and for the user that is hr deputy manager i will assign him the role of uh, read only okay so then i will see how uh, they log in and how the application will be looking for uh, as per their login procedures so <clears throat> what i am going to do i am going to uh, start in private browsing Okay, I will add this in my option so that it may not uh, pop up again and may not create further disturbance. Okay, friends. So what I'm going to do? I am I have opened a new private browser, and here I have uh, uh, this thing HLTF. Uh, sorry, HR Manager. So what actually happened? Uh, it's validating whether this user has uh, rights to access the uh, website in site collections or not. After validating, it will uh, give me some uh, information regarding whether the user has the rights to access or not. No. So this list hasn't been shared with you. It means that. 
uh, I haven't uh, assigned the inf uh, so permission level to this uh, group user that is HR manager and HR deputy manager. So what I'm going to do, I'm going from the administrator and I'm going into the view all site settings and here I'm going into the site permissions and I'm going to assign uh, the membership of home members to HR manager. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new user here. This is actually not a create, this is uh, actually the assigning. So <clears throat> what I've done, I have made, made HR manager that was the user of my active directory, a member of home members in SharePoint 2019 site collection. So after that, I will see that it's uh, asking from uh, some cache. So let me uh, browse again HTTP HLTF tech website. So wonderful. Uh, right now you have seen I have assigned uh, this uh, user the information, uh, the rights of uh, edit. So now he has login as per his uh, rights. So if I go here, you can see uh, that this user can go into the site contents. Here you can see he can uh, add document libraries, he can add pages, he can add app. Uh, in short, he has the rights to play within the uh, this. Uh, you, you can say that this user has the rights to play in this site with the edit properties which have been assigned to him. So if I go into the site settings, here you are seeing that he has very limited rights. But if I go from the administrator to the site settings, sorry, if I go from here to the site settings, you can see he has multiple options because he has full control but the user that is HR manager has very limited control <coughs> he has very limited rights of editing only so uh, he can uh, play within his defined territory so what I am going to do I am now going to tell you about the read permissions okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going into the uh, site information, view all site settings, site permission and in visitors that has very limited rights. I have already told you that this user, that the, uh, the uh, active directory user who is the member of this group can only play within, uh, can only view these properties. <coughs> he cannot add or edit uh, the resources of the site collection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add, add HR Deputy Manager here uh, and I'm going to make him a part of home visitors. So going into a new browser, HR Manager, I'm going to close it. I'm going to start in private browsing and uh, okay, HR Deputy Manager. I have assigned him uh, the password. This is the user. I can show you here. This is the user, HR Deputy Manager. And through his credentials, I have logged into the account. But <coughs> keep it uh, up to this that in previous uh, demonstration of HR Manager, you were seeing that there was edit option here. Right now, this user who has only the read permissions cannot edit this front page or these links. But if we go into the super account that is having full control, he has the option of edit. Let me compare it here. Here you can see that he has no option of editing because he has only read permissions but this user can edit this option. Similarly, if you go on the left navigation bar, 
there is an option of edit the user can add more links he can even remove the links here but the user who has only read permissions that is hr deputy manager can only view these options he cannot change these options similarly if we go into the site contents you can see that he can see the site contents and if we go into the documents he has no option of uploading the documents or editing the existing documents but if we go from uh, the user that has full control to the same uh, document folder you can see that he has the option of creating new uploading and even changing the document if it exists here so he has the user of uh, read access can only read or view the documents similarly for pages on, as well he can see the pages the related information but he cannot change them if i want to change it you can see that there is no option of changing it he has only limited rights similarly if we go into uh, site permissions he can see which permission uh, have been assigned to which member in which group <clears throat> similarly he also cannot go into the site permissions that were uh, i can show you here he cannot go into the site information he cannot see these settings as he uh, he has very limited rights of uh, only viewing the information sorry yes deputy manager you can see that he has no uh, he can only see these permission so he has very limited rights you can further uh, refine these rights by defining your own permission levels so guys this was all about uh, the permission levels uh, in sharepoint 2019 site collections how you can uh, create your own permission level groups how you can uh, assign the membership to any of your existing active directory group so uh, if you have any question related to this uh, topic uh, please leave a comment i will be very much grateful uh, for helping you if you uh, find any difficulty so also guys i request you to subscribe my channel subscription is the most desirable thing which i need right now from you people so please support me and subscribe my channel uh, and keep watching the interesting videos i thank you all